Hey now, we are talking about Mercy, Mercy, Mercy by Joe Zawinul and specifically how to read um, the chord charts for this song. Now I do have a performance video that I did of this um, that uh, where I just play and explain how to play it. Mm. Uh, so you're welcome to check that out. Um, I'm also, today though, my focus is showing you how to read the chord charts and what to play over the top of it. Um, so please, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel. Check out mattlabarbermusic.com. And, uh, you know, please share any of these videos with anybody that you think might be interested, okay? So let's get into it, okay? You're going to notice in the chord chart, there's really two sections to this song. There's the A section and the B section. They just kind of repeat over and over again. The A section is really eight bars um, or eight measures, and it goes back and forth between a B flat seven and an E flat seven. So you'll see that when I'm playing B flat seven, I, I keep everything sort of root based and sort of in the same place so it's easy to follow. But I play the B flat on my E string. Okay, and again, if you want to see more specifics where I get into the fret numbers and all that stuff, I would watch the other video that I did. This I'm just going to kind of call things by name. So I'm playing the B flat and then I'm playing the E flat, right? And in between, um, this isn't my lick exclusively. I borrowed this from the recording. Uh, he, what we're playing is one, two, three, and four, and one, you know, or just throw in a little step in between the E flat and the B flat. I play this D on the A string. So, right? And you'll see I'm playing with my thumb right now because I'm trying to get more of that sort of upright bass sound that I think they have in the video. Sometimes I play it with my fingers and sometimes I'll play it with my thumb just depending on how you know loud the dynamics are of that song. So between the B flat and the E flat I do something similar to this. Some, something along those lines. Now you see I change that a lot, but the idea is there's this half step kind of walk up. And since it's a seven chord, I use the major third to the one of the E flat. So, boo, boo, boo. And then you can also, you know, you can do some other fills. But really I'm going from B flat to E flat. And then sometimes you'll see that when I'm going from the E flat to back to the B flat, I leave this note out and I actually go down a whole step. And that's because it's an E flat seven chord. And I'm really going back to the seven. So things like that, like little riffs that I'm throwing just to make it more interesting. But really you could just play one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then repeat that same thing for another four measures, okay? Um, if you're just trying to get through the tune and get used to reading the chart, that's a good way to do it, is just play the root notes. Now in the B section of the song, you're going to see um, that the B flat and the E flat split the measure in half. So what that means is, you know, two beats of B flat, two beats of E flat. But you're also going to see that there is a slash B flat underneath that E flat chord or next to it. It's kind of on the side. Um, so what that means to us, the bass players, or at least the way I interpret it, is that I'm going to stay on the B flat when someone else plays that other chord. So you'll notice that during that entire four measures, I'm just playing B flat. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm playing eighth notes, so really one and two and three and four and one and two. But really it's all B flat. Okay, so and that's when the you know keyboard's going do 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 do. It 
it's back and forth between those two chords. But for us, we're just sticking to that B flat chord. Um, and just to maybe make it fancier, just have some variation every once in a while, I'll go to the octave. Just playing the five in between, right? Next line um, down in the B section, you'll see a B flat, and then you see a B flat slash D, you see an E flat, and then in the next measure it says F7 sus. To me, what that means is that I'm playing B flat, D, E flat, F, right? So that's do, 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 do. That's what I play over that section. One and two and three and four and one and two. Do, 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 do. The second time around, I don't go to that low F. I just hang out there. And that's because that's kind of what they're doing in the recording. So that's the second line of the B section. First line is... Do, do, do. Next four bars are it says C minor seven, D minor seven, okay, and really for that I'm just playing the roots. Do do playing a C D, okay, and that's all over the minor seven chord. But I just play one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And the next two bars it says G minor F, G minor F, all in one measure. Um, and then the last note is a G minor. And really, you'll see me go G, F, G, F, G, two, three, four. So those four bars, again, the last four bars of the B section. D minor seven, G, F, G, F, G, two, three, four, and then back to the top. Okay, so I'm going to play that whole B section for you just one more time. So, one, two, three, four. Staying on the B flat. And now I'm on the second line. So that's all there is to it. I know that um, I do a bunch of different variations, which you'll eventually be able to do, um, or maybe you can do already. Um, but the main thing that I focus on at first when I'm playing through chord charts, if they're foreign to me, or if I just you know don't want to throw in notes that don't belong, just follow the roots um, to get the form down, and then you can get fancy. So... Hopefully that all makes sense to you um, and that you can follow along and play and have a good time playing this song. Um, thanks again for watching. And again, mattlabarbermusic.com. Please like and subscribe and share um, and check out some of my other videos. I'm sure that there's some more stuff that you like. I'd be happy to, uh, to show you some more new things. So happy basin and I'll see you in the future.